All right, next adventure. Take the Jeep and the AEV Prospector XL out to explore and see if we can find some mountaintops. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, I might have hurt my ankle there. Who's going to the pool hole? He did it. Oh my God, he passed me. I knew this was a race. Have yet another pretty little lake. Gorgeous. Two campsites. That's the whole, the whole wreck site. Is two little campsites side by side. Ooh, I don't think I'm going for a swim. No, swimming with the leeches. Like you might be a little itchy when you come out of this one. So I'm in end here. Okay, keep going. Oh, You're in drive. There's there you go. And you, I heard the servos up front. Hey, Lindsay's learning to Jeep. Good, okay. That's good, okay, come back down. Slow down, you don't need to race it. <laughs> All right. Huh. If it feels like it's gonna go over, give it give it gas and go this way. You're fine. Uh, I didn't tell you to turn left, keep turning right. Turn right. Passenger. Nice, look at that articulation. Sweet! First little Jeep off-roading. I bet your heart's pumping. My heart! <laughs> was that a bit much? <laughs> I felt like I was gonna flip. I'm ah. just vibrating. She's so little and dainty. Yeah. So how was that jeeping in the ditch? It was a little heart pumping for a while there. Thought I was gonna flip. But did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. All right. Would you do that in a Bronco? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I need lessons though. <laughs> what to do and what not to do because I don't want to flip anything. No, you've already flipped stuff for us before. Yeah. country over the course of the last 25 years for work and for fun and never driven a truck like this at speed on a good logging road this thing cannot be beat the weight of it with the diesel in the front the AV suspension and the boots that this thing has the big 40s everything comes together really nicely and this thing is a riot to drive on a logging road Hey, so that new Bronco's coming out soon. What do you guys think about that? Anybody getting one? Does anybody have one on order? Andrew and Lindsay are really thinking about putting one down. Putting one down? <laughs> putting a down payment on one. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh. There's some bumps. <laughs> and uh, not getting a Jeep? What do you guys think about that? Taking a Bronco over a Jeep. Hmm. I never thought the day would come. Okay, I'm navigating now. So we started up here at Mosquito Lake down through these OHV trails and we want to get to this one so we get to the top of this mountain but we have no idea if it's going to be jeep capable or if it's more like side by side or even just dirt bike we'll find out just for a point of reference there's in the cusp right there so marcel how many kilometers do we have on the new jeep 1406 kilometers <laughs> you like what we've done with the place folks she's 
little dusty. Oh well, it can't be new forever. Nope. All right, we're just heading up. Uh, we started off in the Jeep and we just asked the big truck to hang back because it's looking a little skinny. We're just gonna go scope it out first. Hey, if you're aware of other YouTube channels that uh, involve Jeeping, going around Southern BC, we'd love to know who they are just so we can go in and subscribe and follow them and see what they're up to. Leave us a note in the comments. Here's a nice little piece. That certainly is a nice view. All right, no mountaintop for us today. We're running a little low on fuel, so we're heading back to camp to do some paddleboarding. All right. That was nuts. Some big, fat, Procom Extreme MT2s. These things chew. If anybody knows tires, they know what these things are all about, and they are pretty bomber. So in past videos, we've talked lots about this Nomad, this 2500 Dodge that we've got with an AEV kit on it. And uh, the one thing that we often don't mention is what this little guy leads to. That's an air chuck that feeds out of our compressor that's mounted up in here. Spare tire goes on the roof. That compressor also airs up our diff lockers front and rear as well. Very capable truck really well fitted and pretty much ready to rumble all the time so these max tracks are pretty cool we use them a lot in the winter and i don't think we've actually used them summertime yet but um australian invention i think primarily for sand but if you start to get into a sticky situation you put one of these under each tire at the front you roll up these be basically become a quick land bridge for you if you're trying to get out of something gross we've had lots of people ask about this snorkel and how much water we try to cross with this truck we usually tell them in the winter that it's for all the powder that we pound through but it's actually for the dust dusty conditions like we're seeing here today we're getting the intake up really high and as high as we can on this truck reasonably to hopefully suck some nice clean air into the motor pretty much everything you get from AEV is just bulletproof if you look at this modular bumper even the tow mounts are integrated right into the frame of the truck Basically, this thing would skin itself before it's going to be left stuck on a mud hole if you've got something big enough to pull it out. Hot enough for you? I was thinking hot out. <laughs> Trying to find a little bit of shade. <laughs> Andrew and Lindsay have been waiting about half an hour for us. We're Thanks, here. guys. <laughs> We're here now. Let's go do some paddle boarding. Ah. 